Hey everyone, my name is Jimmy Lin. I'm a coach from San Diego, California. Welcome to my video. All right, let's take a look at how to get to the backhand corner of the backcourt by covering it with a forehand. So after you split, the first thing you want to do is twist. So split, twist, and then you're going to follow this by a scissor jump, and then step back to the center. Stepping is one way to return to the center, it's not the only way. If you look at this full speed, you can see that you can actually make it far enough to hit any shot, unless it goes out that you don't have to hit it. So shuffling is another way to return to the center, and the benefit of shuffling is that it allows you to stay balanced all the time, so it's easier for you to change directions if your opponent does some sort of uh, tricky shot. So when you pull back, right, you don't want to keep your non-racket foot just stationed on the ground. You want to actually pull that foot back too as well. You can think of it as skipping backwards. Alternatively, you can actually shuffle after you do your initial twist. However, that's going to take you a few more steps. So the goal is to practice so that you can get to the back corner in two steps. And sometimes you don't even need to do a full skip. You just pull your non-racket leg back. So if you want to do a smash in the backhand corner, you're going to follow it by taking steps forward, essentially running forward, and then doing a neck kill with your backhand. 